big YouTube. So today I'm going to do a draw of my life, which uh, I was tagged to do by Daniel Quinn quite a long time ago, but I just never got around to it. So here we go. As you all know, my name is Tessa McGrath. I am 21 years old and I was born on the 20th of May 1992 in Solihull Hospital, just outside of Birmingham. I have a four person family. Don't really know what I've done to my dad's legs there, but yeah, me, my mum, my dad, and my sister. Look at our happy faces. <laughs> I'm leaving my glasses, but you know. Uh, my main interests when I was younger were drama, two little theatre masks, Irish dancing and free t freestyle and disco dancing. I loved them. It was fantastic. In 2002, um, an event occurred which obviously changed my life completely. Uh, it was actually my dad passed away, which was sad, but it taught me a lot of things and it's obviously helped me in the long run because uh, I found out I've got a heart problem, but if he hadn't died, I wouldn't have known that. Uh, we fast forward into 2004. Uh, I was in secondary school. I was in a place called St. Peter's Roman Catholic, and a band called Yes You Can Read, McFly, it became the be all and end all of my whole entire life. I met three girls who became my best friends till, well, late secondary school Alex, Ashley, and Mel Megan. Twin alert! Twin alert! Um, in 2008, there's a heart and a smiley face, uh, I found my first love. Oh, flinging pen. Um, and some say it's puppy love, but it lasted 19 months, so I think it was quite good for a 16 to 17 year old. Uh, at college, I did history, Christian theology, and English literature, but my main love was drama! I loved it! As I was leaving in 2010, a decision time came about. Uh, what some people don't know is what I actually applied for was events management at the time. I got into my chosen uni, but it soon occurred that I'd missed doing drama too much. So the, you know, the decision came: do I take drama or do I do events? And as you all know, I wanted to do. I did drama and I did a gap year, so that was what I decided. Woohoo! Uh, during my gap year, I had two jobs before I finally could afford Camp America. Uh, I did office work and I worked in a clothing shop in Solihull. Hill. Finally got round to moving to America, and that's my really crap drawing of America, into Central State, Nebraska, which many people think it's cold, but no, you're confusing that with Alaska. It was fantastic, full of cowboy redneck. Uh, what a really crap drawing of a cowboy boot and a cowboy hat. But yeah, I did special needs, which was both extremely hard but extremely rewarding. Uh, and America actually did like teach me a lot about myself, um, so it was completely worth it. In August 2011, I came back from Nebraska, spent a month in sunny, not so sunny Solly Hall, and then packed my bags to go to university and as you all know I'm at DMU in Leicester. Most people are scared after moving like you know from home to to, to the uni but I wasn't really that scared because obviously I've just moved two months away in America. Uh, in 2013 I am now on the radio, I am a drama student obviously, student ambassador, I'm back at uni and, and I work in a pub what a really awful drawing of a pint of beer and a really awful drawing of a glass of wine. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe and share it amongst all your friends. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye!